Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Dr. Ray, welcome to my channel, um, and welcome back for everybody that has been with me for a while. Happy Purrs Day. Um, today we're gonna deviate a little bit from our Purrs Day shenanigans. Um, I wanted to answer some questions that I got a while back on um, Apoquil, which is a medication for pets for allergies and itching. And so, um, you know, this topic is very um, interesting to me personally. I know I talk a lot about nutrition, but really I, I am mostly interested in surgery and internal medicine and dermatology. And so me and this product, my love affair with this product goes back very, very, very far. Um, actually, 10 years ago um, about was when I was first introduced to this product. And so um, for, for all of you that are not familiar, Apoquil um, is the, the brand name um, for the product where the chemical name is Aquacinidib. Um, it's a product that was developed for um, canine atopic dermatitis. And so before we get you know, into this too deep, it's important to understand what atopic dermatitis is and what that is. It's um, an allergy, very specific type of allergy, very specific type of receptor that um, stimulates uh, this allergy and it's an environmental allergy. And so it's to pollens, grasses, um, things that touch the body, inhaled, and um, it's a medication that's going to target a very specific receptor for that. And so before we get into how the product works and why it works, um, I think that it's very important that we always start out at what is the diagnosis and the proper diagnosis. Um, because if your pet was not diagnosed with atopic dermatitis, you are not gonna love this product nearly as much as I do um, because it's meant for a very specific um, disease process. And so getting that diagnosis is very important. Um, because atopic dermatitis is not pyoderma or skin infection, um, it is not mange, it, it is not fleas, it is not even food allergy. And so a lot of these things look very uh, similar. Um, and so getting the diagnosis is really important because a product that is not used properly is not gonna perform the way that it was intended. So um, that's a brief intro to um, this guy here which is one of my favorites, Apoquil. And so to start um, you know, back at the very beginning of my journey with this product 10 years ago, um, when it came out, my local you know, rep that works for this company, it, back in the day it was Pfizer, now it's Zoetis Animal Health, um, you know, came up to me back in my little baby Dr. Ray vet infancy and said, you, know, you really enjoy Durham, you have a really good caseload, um, would you be interested in a new product? You know, and I said, yeah, you know, that, yeah, definitely. I'd love to hear about a new product. You know, what's the deal? And he said, well, you need to go to some training classes. Um, we want you to, you know, read the research. We want you to get some training on it. And then we're going to give you product for you to use, you know, at your discretion on cases that you, you know, think it might benefit. And then you let us know how it goes. And so, you know, I did that. I went to the training classes and I got my bottles. And, you know, at first, you know, as a veterinarian, it's like new products. Yeah, there's data and literature, but... You know, you know, I got to be really careful on who I select, what cases I select for this product. And so I asked my technician at the time, Erin, hi Erin, if you're watching, she had a little Yorkie named Jax. We had been struggling with Durham stuff with Jax for a while. Um, we tried a lot of products, you name it, we tried it, um, and he was still suffering really bad from allergies. And so I asked her, you know, would you be okay with trying this product, I read all the data, it seems really safe, it seems really promising, would you be willing to try this product? And she said, absolutely. And so we tried Apoquil on Jax, um, and the results were miraculous and almost immediate. And so from that, you know, from that experience, I then started incorporating um, Apoquil to some of my most challenging cases, cases that, you know, had failed on, um, you know, failed on cyclosporin, which was one of the only other medications we had at the time, and it was called Atopica, and was very expensive. Um, failed on products like, at the time, prednisone, which, you know, we couldn't use on diabetics, we couldn't use on pa patients with kidney disease, was very limited. Um, and so, started incorporating Apoquil into those patients, and miraculous results. People were amazed at the product and so happy that their pet could finally have relief. Um, and it was so successful actually at the time that other veterinarians in the area, because this product was only, you know, released to a select few veterinarians across the country, um, were 
talking to the rep saying he was playing favoritism and you know giving me special treatment because I had this miracle product that they didn't have available to them. So that was 10 years ago. Flash forward, you know, now 10 years later, this product is widely used, widely accepted, and really is a mainstay and a gold standard for a lot of dermatological cases specific to atopic dermatitis. And so um, how does this product work and why does it you know, why does it perform so miraculously and why is it so safe? And so um, try, I'll try not to get too geeked out and nerded out on this for you guys, but I really do love the science behind veterinary medicine and the products that we use. And so I do read all these papers and really get involved with this. Um, so what Apoquil does is in the body um, for atopic dermatitis, there are these little um, receptors and what happens when your pet is exposed to a certain allergen and that's why it's important that we are getting the proper diagnosis again um, is Apoquil and um, the allergen will come you know from over here you know and your pet will inhale it or touch it and then it'll come and it'll bind to this receptor which is called um, a Janus kinase inhibitor or a Janus kinase receptor and so the you know the allergen will bind to that and when it binds to that receptor the body then releases all of these itchy inflammatory mediators and so what Apoquil does is Apoquil um, has a similar shape to all these um, allergens and it actually will go in the receptor so that all of these other allergens can't bind to it. And so when Apoquil is bound to that receptor, it can't release all of these itchy things. And so why is that so miraculous? Um, it's so miraculous because it's very specific to that receptor. And so the products that we had before Apoquil, although they were great, they weren't perfect um, because prednisone, everybody's familiar with prednisone. I can't tell you the number of times people come into my clinic and ask me for a cortisol or a cortisone shot for their animal um, for itching because that's what we used to have back in the day and it does work. The problem is not only does it bind to this um, specific allergy mediator, it binds to all these other ones as well and very non-specifically. And so although it's good to shut this one off, um, it may not be good to shut this one off that regulates um, inflammation in the GI tract. So now you have a GI ulcer or um, it's not good to you know attach this one because this one is your immune response and so when you use prednisone you're non specifically turning everything off and you can get into some issues um, also we can't use prednisone on our cushionoid dogs we can't use prednisone on our demodex dogs we can't use prednisone on our um, diabetic patients and so it was very limiting um, you know and sometimes if you know, you were in a pension, you couldn't run diagnostics tests, you might have accidentally given prednisone to a dog that had Cushing's that you didn't know about, and you know, that was an issue. Um, cyclosporin or Atopica, another good product, I do still use it occasionally. There are cases where, you know, that is more appropriate to have that product. Atopica is an immunosuppressant, and so um, not, you know, a super hardcore one, um, but it did suppress the immune system. So, you know, animals might have some issues, especially cats, causing outbreaks of herpes virus or things like that. Um, also very costly. And so Apoquil, because it only um, affects that one receptor, uh, is very, 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 considered very, very safe. And um, also very quick. And so it's in the body and within 24 hours, it's out of the body. And so prednisone, we know has a carry. It would circulate in the body for a long time. Same thing with cyclosporin. Um, you know, some people, you know, would have to, that product would hang around in the system for weeks at a time. And so that's what made Apoquil um, so amazing. And so uh, there are some, um, there were some questions out there, especially at the beginning, about because we're blocking receptors and it's technically class, Apoquil's class as an immunosuppressant because it is suppressing that one receptor of the immune system, um, you know, could it cause issues with um, cancers and um, could it cause cancers or could it stimulate cancers and should you use it in patients with cancer? Um, and so just recently in JAMA, a paper came out 10 years later looking at the data um, and they found that after 10 years of using this product, the incident of cancers in patients that used Apoquil versus those that did not um, was statistically insignificant. And so there is some you know, caution obviously that needs to be exercised on the, ha on the behalf of your veterinarian um, of whether or not that 
you know, if you have a pet that has uh, cancer or is a patient has a specific condition, if Apoquil would be appropriate, and obviously it's a case by case basis, but in general, that's the data that is available to us showing how safe the product is. Um, now, uh, restrictions, um, it is restricted to dogs over um, one year of age. Um, cats are not on the label either, and so there are those restrictions there, but um, this product, honestly, it's, it's great for a number of reasons. So obviously I will use it for atopic dermatitis, and a lot of times I will also use it as a rule out for other conditions. And so if we're working through a case um, that has skin disease, and a lot of times I will ask my patients that I'm working up the case, and you know this might be something your veterinarian does too. This is the standard workup for derm cases. Is you know I will generally check your skin for bacteria either with a culture swab or looking at it under the microscope. Um, I will often scrape your pet and then make sure that there's not Demodex or mange, Sarcoptes, lice, um, and then a lot of times. Um, at that point, I will make sure you're on proper, you know, flea protection because extern external parasites as well, and you know we want to make sure those are under control. But then I'll use Apical as a trial, and I'll often use that first before I go to diet changes because um, pets that have food allergy often are not going to respond to um, Apical because Apical is for atopic dermatitis. So a lot of times I'll put patients on the Apical and say, look, if your patient's symptoms are completely resolved, you know, a two-week trial of this medication, um, you know, your pet is not likely to have food allergy, and so we do not need to do this, you know, whole food trial thing. Um, um, and then also, if they have a skin infection, that needs to get cleared up as well because, again, a Apoquil is not going to work for pyoderma or skin infection or itchiness caused by skin infection. So we always want to make sure the skin infection is under control, fleas are under control, any external parasites are under control, and then go on the Apoquil so that you can have this beautiful, wonderful, itch-free lifestyle that I have seen for so many of my patients with this product. All right, now. Quick little transfer, um, because people ask me, what's the difference between Apoquil and Cytopoint? So Cytopoint came out a few, a few, a few years ago, and um, it came out kind of a cousin to Apoquil made by the same company. Um, what Cytopoint is, it's a monoclonal antibody. And so um, we have the receptor here, same receptor, same genus kinase receptor, the same receptor that's gonna re release the itchy, itchy stuff um, in response to environmental allergens. Um, but instead of binding to the receptor, um, what Cytopoint does is it actually binds to the allergens. And so when it sticks on the allergen, the allergen can no longer fit into the um, receptor. And so because it can't fit, it can't stimulate that release and then, you know, it's, it's, it's gone. So that's how Cytopoint works. Now Cytopoint is labeled for basically all ages and there isn't an age restriction. It's one injection. That injection is dosed by weight and that injection can last anywhere on label from four to eight weeks. And so if you can't pill your pet um, and you know, you're looking for something maybe that's uh, the injection and I do have some patients that maybe do fare a little bit better on the injection than the pill, Cytopoint may be an option for you as well. All right guys, I hope that that was just as interesting for you as it was for me. I love this product. Feel free to ask me more questions, but never underestimate or never um, you know, use my channel as a substitute for asking your regular veterinarian. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to ask me more questions about products or explanation of products. I love to um, sometimes maybe deviate from you know just talking about food. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.